This is me. And this, of course, is not me. But with the power of AI, we can now become anyone in real time. Now, you may have seen some impressive video to video transformations, but these require you to upload your video and send them off to the cloud to be rendered out. But now I'm going to show you a brand new free AI tool that allows you to change yourself into anyone in real time. In this video, we're going to break down exactly what it is, how you can use it, and we're then going to take a look at some of the other competing technologies out there. And by the end of this video, you'll understand the importance of real-time AI video transformation and a whole lot more. If you're new here, I'm AI Samson. And on this channel, we explore the creative possibilities of AI. Most people think that AI video is incredibly slow, but now we can change our video in real time. And why does this matter? Well, it has major implications for creativity, but also for the potential for illicit uses in scamming and misinformation. So let's take a look at how we can do it ourselves. Right now, you can try this out for free. They will be taking the free tier off soon and you will start having to pay. But if you come to Descartes.ai, you'll be able to log in and you'll have access to their brand new models. Now, there are three models we're going to take a look at. Lucy Edit Live, which is for live video editing, Mirage LSD, which is for video reskinning, and Lip Sync Live, which is for real-time lip movements. Let's kick things off with Mirage LSD. Now, you have three options here, open camera, share screen, or upload video. I'm gonna go ahead and open my camera. Now you get a behind the scenes look of my setup here. <laughs> Everything is not as picturesque as this black screen makes things out to be. And as you can see, instantly, in real time, we've got me changed into an entirely different style. Now at the bottom, we have a whole host of different themes that we can test out. Here's me in a pirate world. Living out we lost words on Skullbones Island. But you can test out a whole array of creative mediums. Here is a Van Gogh styling with painterly elements. But truly the test of this is the ability to reincarnate believable and realistic scenes. So here is a war zone, me looking rather zombified. And there is also even a zombie. Ooh, that is pretty frightening. And as you can see, we've got the video updating, there is a slight delay, but it's absolutely incredible that we can edit this so quickly and easily. I'll show you just a few other of the most interesting examples. Wild West gives me a slightly more haggard look. <laughs> Adds another 10 years. I suppose it's more like an age filter than anything this. I think the sci-fi anime one works particularly well. And here is me as a footballer. Yes, we're going to the win. And Picasso, a rather cubist approach here. Wow, it's quite uh, surreal, almost psychedelic. It's a little bit like being on, what should we say, this thing. Now I understand the reasoning behind the naming of this model. Now, presets are just for starters. Things get really interesting when we explore the prompt bar. So you can see here, it's put me into a K-pop styling, a rather, shall we say, feminine Asian version of myself, but we can change it to anything we like. You can type in a prompt, press enter, and immediately it's gonna reskin. Now at the moment we get a thousand free credits and it costs two credits per second. But let me show you an interesting example. I'm gonna type in simply cyberpunk and you can see we've got a really intense version here. You can try a sci-fi film. And truly this is a lot of fun to play around with. Now here's me captaining the Starship Enterprise. Now there is a API that you can use to integrate this into your own applications. It's a zero latency autoregressive video model, which means that it instantly updates your videos. They've also got a set of examples which showcase some of the best examples because here we have a shot of two eggs on a frying pan which can be instantly turned into some very trippy animations. Now you can also upload your video and transform yourself into a whole host of different styles. Now, right here we see the opportunity to start using objects as props which can then be transformed into other elements. You can see here the man wielding a stick as a lightsaber. Now, that's not all, because they also have the Lucy Edit Live. And this is a model that allows you not to reskin the entire video, but simply to pull out elements that you want to add, remove, or adjust inside of the video. So let me show you exactly how that works. You can open up your webcam, and as you can see, now I've got a cat on my shoulder. Maybe I can even try and stroke this cat. Who's 
good little kitty. But as before, we have a whole host of different elements that we can put on. I can even wear myself a beautiful summer dress. Oh my, I look so pretty. But we can also become Mark Zuckerberg or even be a polar bear. Now, <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> bow, bow, I'm a polar bear. Or even an alien. <laughs> now, this is great. Absolutely marvelous. And again, we have the opportunity to add in our own prompts. So as you can see here, I've tried out this prompt, blonde woman, and suddenly I am a woman and my knees are also in the shot. This is where live calls, tutorials, streaming start to get very interesting. Now you might be curious if you can use celebrities and if you do this, you can get a similar likeness to some celebrities and it certainly doesn't ban you from trying to be them. Let's try Mr. Bean. <laughs> Very interesting version of Mr. Bean. <laughs> Not so realistic. But it does a pretty good job at definitely matching up hand movements, even complex positions like this. And as for exaggerated facial expressions, there is a decent amount of consistency. Let's try out Lady Gaga. Ah, yes, I would say this is one of the more accurate ones, Alejandro. Now, we also have the opportunity to upload videos directly into the model. Now, this allows us to edit things that we have pre-recorded. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video of me doing a few more movements and giving you a few interesting examples of what we can do. Now, visuals are just half the picture. Let's take a look at what we can do with real-time audio lip syncing. The other interesting model that we have is the lip sync live movement. And this allows you to have real-time lip movement synchronization with audio input. So you can select an existing character and then add your own audio. For example, you can say, hello, my name is man with red shirt. Then you go ahead and generate this. For example, you can say, hello, my name is man with red shirt. And as you can see, we get this updated in the video straight away. Now, this is important because it's frankly a huge step forward in the world of AI video. Because previously we would have to wait up to a minute just to get a short five second clip of video. But now we can get instantaneous real time AI video. And that opens up not just possibilities for creativity, but also for generating more complex worlds and systems related to AI. And once you see how fast this tech is evolving, the implications hit you immediately. One area that we're going to see a huge advancement in in the coming months and year is open world AI models. And within that, we're going to need agents that can play and exist in these realities. And Google has just announced its SEMA 2 model, which is an AI agent capable of playing through open world games. Now, we're going to start to see the enmeshment of these two technologies to create a whole host of new possibilities in the world of AI, leading us to create full simulated environments. And the next step beyond this is where these systems are going to be put into robotic bodies, into physical entities. This will give them not only the agency and volition to carry out their own tasks, but also to understand and simulate the repercussions of events within reality. But let's get back to Descartes, because there are a few other things that we want to explore with this. So currently you get 1000 free credits, which equates to 500 seconds, which is about eight minutes of real-time AI video transformation. You can add more credits for just $10 for 1000 credits. And they also have a video model that costs eight credits per single second of footage. Now you can see here that it is, I would say a pretty decent video model compared to what we've seen recently, but the true strengths of Descartes are in its real-time AI video capabilities. Now, interestingly, Descartes also has a VR app that allows you to reskin the world that you're looking through in your VR headset. You can see here the demonstration of this, absolutely remarkable. And I think this also opens up the possibility for engaging in completely different realities. Now, another use case for this technology beyond VR is also for live streaming. And they have a live stream tool called Descartes Stream. And you can see here that it's easy to completely change your appearance to become a different person or have a completely different aesthetic for streaming. Now, before we go deeper, I want to tell you about today's sponsor because they solve one of the biggest 
headaches when any new technology comes out. We all have those ideas we've been putting off forever or have been wanting to experiment with. And I'm grateful for today's sponsor, Hosting Horizons, who helps you take that weird digital idea and make it a reality. Today, I'm going to create an experiment of my own and something that I've wanted to create for ages. And let's see if Horizons can do exactly what they say and turn your idea into a real business. So all I have to do is pop in my own prompt in natural language. I'm using the following prompt. I want to build a web shop that can host all of my prompts and images that I've created, allowing my members to easily browse and comment on each prompt. We can work as a community, exploring, expanding, and developing our own prompt libraries, and together build the strongest prompts possible. I now see Horizon's agent takes my prompt and will break it down, describing exactly what it's going to do, and begin the whole coding process for me. I get to sit back and relax and enjoy the entire show. This is cool to see just how fast this is at putting all of this together. I'm often building landing pages, web apps, and other types of digital media for my projects. And now it can combine everything, the design, the development, and the copywriting in one go. Okay, so cool, this is looking rather good. Now we can open up these prompts and take a look at how they're doing. But this is just the first stage. The great opportunity here is iterative advancement. And that's where I get to ask for changes, updates, and developments to the whole project. So let's try this out. Within the individual prompt products, I would like to be able to add an instruction tab where I can leave step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up the tool, what it works with, and how to get the most out of it using this prompt, as it's often more than just needing to know the text of the prompt to get the most out of any tool. Now that's looking rather fantastic, but I might want to take this a step further and turn it into an e-commerce store where I can actually sell these prompts online as digital products. And you can do that by coming into integrations, going to online store, connecting everything up, and then you can start to add and generate your own products inside of this. Now AI will help us all of the way, and all you have to do is you add your product, make sure you set digital product, if it is a digital product like this. And from here, we can even upload our own images to generate the descriptions for our products. Now what's great about this is you can integrate Stripe payment so you can be launching your own digital product store in minutes and getting paid for it very quickly. Now you can see here it generates a prompt and we can of course adapt this and add it and change it as we like. And we have the option to upload our files directly for purchase online. Once you're happy, you can go ahead and press save. And now you'll see our products start to appear below. And now when you click explore prompts, all your products appear right below. From there, you can choose any prompt you like, add it to your cart and check out instantly. Now this isn't exactly perfect, but it's incredibly fast and it allows you to iterate and build in minutes rather than days. And it's very useful for any type of digital project. Everything you need is already here. Hosting, domain, and even a professional email, all in one place. There's no need to connect any external tools. It's as simple as one click. Now let's head over to the checkout page. Don't forget to apply the coupon code SAMSON to get your discount. And here's the best part. When you choose the annual plan, you'll get both your hosting and domain completely for free. And with expert support available 24 seven from Horizons and being able to build in any one of 80 languages, plus a 30 day money back guarantee, hosting a Horizons is trying to make it as easy as possible for you to build that idea that could be a business. Now, I know we all have that idea that we've been overthinking and wanting to create for ages. And so now you can go right now, block out one hour in your calendar this week and build something with Hosting Horizons. Bring that experiment to life. Thanks to Hostinger for sponsoring this segment of the video. Now, evidently that opens up the possibility for people to become very attractive young women who are streamers. And I think that's going to be a huge explosion of people attempting to do that. Now, of course, the other interesting element to add in is voice adaption, which is where we get real-time AI voice changing. So we can change our voice into a completely different modality. Here is one tool that does that, which is called dubbing AI. So you can sync these tools up to be able to completely change your identity and live out your wildest dreams online, whether you want to be a king, a queen, or a crocodile. Now, these are the live, real-time options. However, there are limitations to these. The latency can appear, it often morphs, and you would say that the quality of the AI video coming out is akin to the standard that we saw a year ago. So we would imagine that within another year that this is going to increase again in quality. However, there are asynchronous 
tools that we can use that give us much higher quality for both of these elements. Now, firstly, with voice, one of the best AI voice changes is from Eleven Labs. And you can simply come into Eleven Labs, go to Voice Changer. They also have an incredibly generous free tier and simply upload your audio. So I might upload this audio or you can simply go ahead and record your audio. So as you can see, this is my normal voice, but it has been transformed into something quite different. So you simply go to select your voice and then go to regenerate speech. Make sure to select one of the free ones. Now, another way that we can do this is by generating a version of ourselves and then using that as an input to create a video to video pipeline. So that means that we take a video and we take an image and we say, please apply the style of this image to this video. Uh, and then it goes off and renders that out and gives you the exact video. Now, the best way to do this is to use a tool like Google's Nano Banana. And you can simply come into Nano Banana, upload a driving image. For example, I can put this in and ask it to change you into somebody else. Turn into a young Asian female Twitch streamer, keep the position and the background the same. And you can see, I've got out this result. Then you can go through and add any adjustments that you like until you get a version of yourself that feels inspiring. For example, I might take this version, then we can download it. Then all we need is a driving video, which is the video we're going to transform. And I will be using this video of myself. Then the tool I recommend for this is going into Runway and we're gonna be using their Act 2 model. Now you will need to upgrade to use this. Then we can go ahead and upload our image and our driving video and go ahead and generate the video. It will then match up just like this. And I will be using this video of myself. Now to go one step further, we can even then integrate the 11 Labs voice changer to completely change our look and feel. But we don't just have to do this to turn ourselves into a woman. We can also turn ourselves into a completely different system like this animated version of myself. But what are the implications for this type of technology? Well, evidently it's possible to impersonate other people, not only friends and loved ones for the potential of scams and romantic traps, but also to impersonate celebrities and politicians and potentially spread misinformation. It's going to be more and more difficult to tell what is real online. And we are going to have to become much less trusting of the media that we see. Now, of course, these are the potential negative implications, but it also opens up a whole world of creativity, especially for individual filmmakers to be able to play entirely different roles when creating their own pieces. We also have the possibility of creating immersive realities and quite frankly, stunning pieces of artistic expression. This is an entirely new medium for us to expand and express ourselves with, and it leaves me with no end of excitement. If you enjoyed this video, then why not watch this one next, which is all about the next big changes coming in AI. Now, some of these are quite literally frightening and exciting and you can check that video out here. But most of all, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here, and I wish you a delightful day.